All right, so you try one too many times to format your hard drive, your SSD, or simply your hard, your flash drive, and you hit a dead end. So you can see right here, I am on disk management. If you don't know how to get there, go ahead and click on this folder, hit this PC, my computer, and go to manage in disk management. Now, once you're here, if you can't absolutely change anything on that specific drive, like I said, it could be a hard drive, SSD, or something, you simply can't uh, do absolutely nothing as you can see here i can't do nothing and this is a common problem sometimes stuff gets messed up like this corrupted even changing the drive letter and pads um, as you can see here i'm going to change it try to get it to work and i'm going to select whatever you try anything and you simply can't so today i'm going to show you how to get that done uh, simply with um, some commands we're gonna go ahead and run the cmd command i know it's kind of you know tricky and stuff but i'm going to show you how to do it the simple way so let's go ahead and close that out go to your search bar and type in cmd command prompt and right click it run as administrator hit yes and right here guys just type in this command disk part hit enter And then list disk hit enter and it's going to bring up all of your hard drives or ssds connected to the computer as you can see mine the one i'm having trouble with is disk number five so i'm going to go ahead and select disk five be sure that you select the correct one you don't want to mess up something on the computer so be very careful on this i am sure that is disk number five hit enter now that you have selected this number five type in clean and hit enter and watch what it's going to do it's going to remove any partitions anything that is blocking you from doing anything to that drive and it's going to give you an unallocated space and right here we are pretty much done almost done but it's still not showing up on your this pc list where all your drives are. So the next step that we want to do is go ahead and add a new simple volume. So simply uh, right click it, new simple volume. And right here you can name it whatever you want. Make sure if you're on Windows, obviously you're on Windows, make sure that you select FAT32 or NTFS. I recommend FAT32 because uh, as an example, if you have a Mac computer or you want to use this flash drive on a Mac, you can simply use it on a Mac computer. So after that, I hit finish. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ta-da! That's it. Take a look at that, guys. Very simple and easy fix. No brainer. All right, guys. This was your host, Sergio with Tech Overclock. Please hit a like down below if my video helped you, and consider subscribing if you're not. I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome.